All right, welcome. So today we're going to walk through in this video uh, how to create a budget, and this is going to be for our TAD Gaming Services LLC uh, case study. So we're going to create a budget to begin with. We're going to go up to the top right to our gear icon. Under tools, uh, we're going to select budgeting. This is going to give us an opportunity right here with this green button to add budget. So we're going to click on that. So now we're going to be able to name our budget and also set our budget up. So this budget is going to, going to be uh, budget 2025. We're going to set this out to, to uh, 2025 again. There we go. Uh, we're going to have an interval uh, is going to be monthly. And we're going to leave our pre data, uh, pre fill data as no and uh, do not subdivide. We're going to do that. Click next down at the bottom right. Okay, so now we have an opportunity to actually enter our budget data. Okay, so we're going to have we're going to have uh, the information is going to be uh, in the uh, case study section of. Uh, of section seven, the, the back, right? So our case study activities for this. So we're gonna go ahead and fill that in um, as we go. Uh, one thing you can do if you uh, put your revenue in, for example, go ahead and we'll start with January here. Okay, so key it in there. If you want to go ahead and copy that across, you can just like that, right? So we can co copy it across. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Uh, so there's there's options there to to put the data in, and uh, there's some shortcuts that can help you enter data quicker um, and set it up. Uh, nice. So just a quick note. So as you're entering the data, so I've put a lot of this data in uh, here for this budget. As you're entering the data, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One is is that um, all of these accounts that you're entering data for come off of your chart of accounts that you set up previously way back in section two and so if you're missing one of the accounts that you're supposed to put data in for for the budget uh, then you need to go back and look at your chart of accounts uh, if something's spelled wrong whatever make that change so you can go ahead and uh, save and close this right and then go back to your chart of accounts and if there's anything that you need to change, change that, and then uh, you're going to come back over to your budget. So make the change in the chart of accounts and come back over to your budget here. And then you can select edit and reopen your budget. And those changes that you made on that chart of account will now show up in here. So if you were, uh, if you were missing something, if something was spelled incorrectly, whatever it was, it'll be changed here. So now you can then continue on and enter your budget at that point. So I just wanted you to know that. Also, uh, there's a lot of extra information in here that wasn't in ours, right? Or it wasn't in the student uh, handbook. Once you get all the data entered for the right ones, what you can do is you can come up here to the top right on this little gear, settings, and you can select hide blank rows. So what that's going to do is that's going to uh, get rid of all these blank rows and it's going to um, scooch everything together and it'll look a little closer to what is in the student um, manual as you do that so just just so you know as you check that you can pull that up and it'll look look closer to what it, you're um, actually looking at in the student manual all right so now that I have all the data entered so I've got all the data entered it looks good it looks like it's supposed to uh, now what I want to do here is I want to go and uh, we're, we're going to create a budget versus actuals report on this one. So in order to do the budget versus actual report, we're going to go ahead and do uh, save and close on this budget. Okay, so now our budget is saved. And then we can come over here to reports. And we can bring that budget versus actual report up right there. So that's the one I'm going to create. Uh, now that I've got my budget in there, that's something that I can do. I'm going to. All 
right, so now we're gonna uh, do create our budget versus actual report. And so in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and, um, now that we've opened it, we're gonna go ahead and customize it. Uh, we're gonna make sure it's just for that first quarter. So we're gonna end the date at March 31st, 2025. There we go. Okay, uh, and we got it on the, based on the right budget. We're gonna make sure to do uh, non-zero items for the rows. So if they're if they're zeroed out on the rows, it's not gonna show them. Um, we're also gonna put in. Um, although we're gonna leave the budget, uh, the compare to another period the same, and then we're gonna go ahead and run it. Uh, the problem is, is we're still uh, we still have so we have just that the first three months, but we wanna kinda of do a total column to match our report that we need to pull. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here to the top right here and click customize. And we wanna do a, um, uh, the click the, on this one, show grid, we're gonna do it, accounts versus total. And then run report on that. And there we go. So that looks like our totals there, uh, like we have in our um, report that's that's in our handbook, student handbook there that we're following uh, for the case study activities. So that's going to be what it is. And so um, hopefully this helps. And thanks for coming and budgeting with me.